welcome to the series of workshops. These workshops are primarily for the students who are preparing for multiple aptitude exams. Students who are preparing for staff selection commission. Students who are preparing for CAT examination. Students who are preparing for placement examination. Students who are preparing for any of the aptitude exams. This class is a must attend class. This session is useful for any of these category of students. Students who are preparing for common law admission test. Students who are preparing for aptitude exams. Students who are preparing for CAT and other management exams. CAT and other management exams. Students who are preparing for bank exams. Extremely useful session. A session which makes you to think through a prism you have never seen before. Bank examination. See the first question. First I will start from basic, then intermediate, then advanced. You will see a lot of exam question papers in between. Now read the first question. First question. First question. What is the unit digit of the sum of first 111 whole numbers? What is the unit digit for the sum of first 111 whole numbers? What is the unit digit of the sum of the first 111 whole numbers? Every problem before I solve, I will repeat some important keywords. First thing is, it is a whole number. Whole numbers. Whole numbers. In sometimes in problems, he might also ask you it as non-negative integral solution. Both are same. Non-negative integral solution. Non-negative integral solution. Whole numbers are also called as non-negative integral solution. Whole numbers start from 0 onwards. 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Please don't say the answer. I am not interested in listening to your answer. Don't waste your time or don't show your intelligence in answering the question. Just listen to the class. I will teach. Kindly listen. Whole numbers. Whole numbers are also called as non-negative integral solution. Non-negative integral solution is nothing but zero plus numbers which we are counting. Zero plus natural numbers. Zero plus natural numbers are called as whole number solution. So first thing which he is asking. So the first number in the whole number will be zero. Whole number will be zero. Second number will be one. Third number will be 2. Fourth number will be 3. Fifth number will be 4. 111th whole number is nothing but 110. Don't do a mistake. The question is whole number. Please put a star mark on the keyword. Star mark on the keyword is whole number. Whole number starts with 0. Do not hurry up and take the question. It has 1, 2, 3 till 111. These are the first these are the first 111 whole numbers. These are the first 111 whole numbers. Then what he is asking? Another important keyword. Unit digit he is asking. What is the first unit day, first digit of the 111 whole number? 0. 0 plus anything unit digit will not change. That means we have to find it out it as. We have to find it out it as. 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on up to 110. 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on up to 110. What is this one? These are nothing but consecutive natural numbers. What is the concept of sum of the first n natural numbers? Sum of the, sum of the first n natural numbers. Sum of the first n natural numbers is nothing but sum of the first n natural numbers is nothing but n into n plus 1 by 2. Those students who don't know the proof, I will discuss the proof also. n into n plus 1 by 2. So, 110 into 111 by 2. 255 is our 110. 255 is our 110. So, 55. I want the unit digit. So, unit digit is nothing but here 5 and here it is 1. 5 ones are 5. Unit digit for this question it is 
फाइव यूनिट डिजिट फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज फाइव देर आर थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट की वर्ड इन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट की वर्ड इज इट इज ऑन होल नंबर होल नंबर स्टार्ट विथ जीरो इन हरी डोंट डू दट मिस्टेक दट इज द फर्स्ट की वर्ड द सेकेंड की वर्ड इज वी आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन फाइंडिंग द आंसर we are interested in finding the unit digit we are interested in finding the unit digit so zero can be omitted because zero plus any number with a unit digit it could be any number the unit digit will not be affected 0 plus 23 is 23 0 plus 59 is 59 0 plus 12 is 12 so unit digit will not be affected if you add 0 to any number so i omitted 0 that is the second keyword third keyword is all the natural all the numbers all the numbers are consecutive what is the sum of the first n natural numbers sum of the first n natural numbers it is nothing but n into n plus 1 by 2 sir i don't know how i you wrote this formula in case if you can don't can don't know the formula i will discuss the proof also n into n plus 1 by 2 110 into 111 by 2. 110 by 2 is 55. 55 unit digit is 5. 5 ones are 5. Unit digit is 5. Answer for this question is 5. Answer for this question is five. Whole numbers are also called as non-negative integral solution. Maybe in the some books it might be given it as sum of first 111 whole numbers. Some important key points. Please write down. Answer for this question is five. Answer for this question is five. Now important key points. Please write down these important key points. Suppose first one. I want to do the sum of the first n natural numbers one plus two plus three and so on up to n, which I call it as yes. I will do the reverse. One plus two plus three and so on up to n. I am writing it in reverse. I am writing it in reverse. So if I add it. Yes plus S C is nothing but two yes. N plus one is N plus one. N minus one plus two is N plus one. So N plus one N plus one added N times. Added N times. Added N times. If I add N plus one N times, so it is nothing but if two is added three times. If two is added three three times. 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 2 into 3. If 3 is added 4 times, 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is nothing but 3 into 4. If n plus 1 is added n times, so it is n plus 1 into n. Yes, C is nothing but n into n plus 1 by 2. Students who cannot remember the formula, this is the sum of the first n natural numbers. Sum of the first n natural numbers. Proof it is given by. Proof it is given by n into n plus one by two. N into n plus one by two. Again, I am repeating every concept minimum two times. I will explain sum of the first n natural numbers is one plus two plus three and so on up to n. I will do the reverse. Reverse is one plus two plus three and so on up to n. One plus n is n plus one. N plus one. N plus one. n plus 1 is added n times if n plus 1 is added n times 3 is added 4 times it is 3 into 4 n plus 1 added n times it is n plus 1 into n so s yes, is n into n plus 1 by 2 n into n plus 1 by 2 first key point first key point some students might ask me sir in the textbook suppose if it is squares of first n odd terms Which is not there in the textbook. One square plus three square plus five square, and so on up to n terms. This is given by n into four n square minus one by three. This something which you will not get it in the regular textbook. Please make a note of it. You will get the sum of the squares of the first n natural numbers. You will get the sum of the cubes of the first n natural numbers. Very rarely in the textbook you might get sum of the squares of the first n odd terms. Now this is very easy to prove. Put n equal to two. One plus nine is ten. If I put two, two into four into two square minus one by three. Sixteen minus one, fifteen by three. Five twos are ten. 
I hope it is clear. Second key point, please put a star mark, sir. This something which you will not get it in the regular textbook. Some of the squares of the first year not terms. Another important point. In algebra or a lot of problems it can be used. Some of the cubes of the first year terms. 1 cube plus 1 cube plus 3 cube plus 5 cube and so on up to n terms. This is given by n square into 2n square minus 1. I want every student who is watching the video to make a note of these key points which I am explaining beyond the problem solving. If any student is thinking that SAR will take a problem, solve the problem, sorry, I am not a substitute to the solution key. I will twist the question. I will explain some more concepts which are related to a particular question so that you can connect the dots. So that you can connect the dots. Extremely important key point. Sum of the cubes of the first n odd terms. Sum of the squares of the first n odd terms. I hope it is clear. So that question in this slide I asked sum of the first whole numbers. It could be sum of the squares of the first 20 odd numbers. It could be anything. I hope the concept is clear. First question answer is 5. Don't do a mistake. The question is on whole numbers, not on natural numbers. First one, I hope it is clear. Can I go to the second question? Everything, take a notebook and a pen and write down every important key point in your notebook. New year, new concepts, new way of solving the question. This year, most likely you will see another 50 to 60 new concepts derived by me as the YouTube live class progresses. Right. First question, I hope it is clear.